అందరికీ నమస్కారం సో నేను రాహుల్ మామూలుగా ఒక ఇంటర్వ్యూ ఇస్తే మేము డైరెక్ట్ చేసిన సినిమాలకి ప్రమోషన్కి పబ్లిసిటీకి వస్తాం లేదా ఎప్పుడో అప్పుడు ఏదో ఒక ఆబ్లిగేషన్ మీద వస్తాం కానీ ఇవాళ ఎవరూ అడగకుండా మేమిద్దరము దూరిపోయి మేమే ఇంటర్వ్యూ చేస్తామని చెప్పి వచ్చాము ఎందుకంటే మేమిద్దరం చూసిన సినిమా సినిమా పేరు చెప్పండి సార్ తెలుగు టైటిల్ చెప్పాలి కదా తెలుగు టైటిలే కదా సార్ సప్త సాగరాలు దాటి సప్త సాగరాలు దాటి అనే ఒక అద్భుతమైన సినిమాని అఫ్ కోర్స్ మేము మేమిద్దరం కన్నడలో చూసాము మళ్ళీ తెలుగులో కూడా చూడబోతున్నాము అండ్ ఈ సినిమా వెనకాల ఉన్న ఒక ముగ్గురు అద్భుతమైన వ్యక్తులతో ఇవాళ మాట్లాడబోతున్నాం అండ్ బేసిక్లీ వీ హ్యావ్ బికమ్ ఫ్యాన్స్ ఆఫ్ ద మూవీ సో మా ఫీలింగ్స్ ఏంటి అని వాళ్ళతో మాట్లాడుతూ మూవీ గురించి కూడా మీ అందరికి తెలియజేద్దామని ప్లాన్ ఎస్ రాహుల్ దూరిపోయి చాలా టెక్నికల్ సినిమా గురించి చాలా మాట్లాడాలని అనిపించింది సినిమా అంటే స్పాయిలర్స్ వద్దు అన్నారు మరి సినిమా గురించి మాట్లాడాలంటే చూసిన సినిమా ఎలా అన్న సో అప్పుడు నందిని గారు క్రియేటివ్ ఇన్స్టింగ్స్ వాడి సైడ్ ఏ సైడ్ బి ఇలా చేద్దాం అన్నారు సో సైడ్ ఏ విల్ బి మోర్ ఫర్ పీపుల్ హూ హ్యావ్ ఎన్ సీన్ ద ఫిల్మ్ అండ్ సైడ్ బి ప్లీజ్ వాచ్ హెస్ సూన్ హెస్ యూ వాచ్ ద ఫిల్మ్ సో ఇప్పుడు మూడు మినిట్స్ మేము ఆల్రెడీ తినేసాం కాబట్టి ఇప్పుడు మన గెస్ట్ ని ఇంట్రొడ్యూస్ చేద్దాం రాహుల్ గుడ్ యూ ప్లీజ్ ఎస్ ప్లీజ్ ఆల్ ఆఫ్ యూ వాంట్ టు సే హై ఎవరు చెప్పరు తెలియదా రక్షించేయనా మన ఇంటర్వ్యూ విత్ us ది సూపర్ స్టార్ ఆఫ్ కన్నడాస్ న్యూ ఏజ్ సినిమా టుడే ద పోస్టర్ బాయ్ ఆఫ్ కన్నడ న్యూ ఏజ్ సినిమా రక్షిత్ శెట్టి విత్ us and we have the amazing this is your second film right yes. we have the amazing rukmini vasanth nen amazing ani enduku cheptunnanu in fact idi understatement and cinema jusaka meer ardham chestuntaru and we have hemanth the writer and the director of the film so please say hi everybody i love hi hi, hi. okay yeah. to start off how are you guys doing in hyderabad <laughs> <laughs> how does it feel to have the film now dubbed and released in asal first of all kannada lo how was the response i want to talk oh, about amazing, that first amazing response because uh, i mean see every film especially the kind of films i do uh, when we release it we we are very curious to see what kind of a market we are uh, you know this this will uh, flourish into right. uh, because to be frank like something like saptasagar dachelo has not come in kannada for a for a very long time right. there are many lo- love stories which has come but not like saptasagar dachelo not in this maakaithe uh, a language is not coming in any language for it yeah it's a very unique film yeah but i think uh, one thing is because of the uh, because of my other other films and this somehow they trust uh, there is a, so much trust in him and there is so much trust in me that these guys get together they will do something for sure which is which won't be disappointing right. so uh, i think that trust and to be frank you know we have decided that we are not going to publicize like in a, in a big way for this uh, film okay. because this is going to be a very small uh, i mean uh, slow poison mm. and you know it has to start slowly and then start uh, spreading and then we'll see if it uh, crosses the border as well right. so th- that was the initial idea probably if we had done too much of publicity then we would have got the audience who are actually who probably who this is not their film probably uh, so you know the word of mouth might be uh, coming out as you know very mixed uh, uh, things like that so there are some people who will take some time to understand uh, this film uh, and people who go by their heart will catch the pulse of the film pretty fast right um, and yeah so now we have crossed karnataka and now we knew, you know we've been talking that you know i'm sure it andhra will be the first place yeah. where it will travel to right. uh, because charlie has done extremely well in yes. uh, telugu uh, telugu yeah. and uh, you know we always consider this is the land of cinema right. uh, because you know cinema is a culture here correct oh, which ikkada oh, cinephiles ki meeku oka pedda fan following undi for rakshit in fact all the three shettis inka shetty revolution start chesinde rakshit akkada who are changing the face of kannada cinema thank you and nijanga meer andaru meer akkad chese cinema nijanga maaku inspiration sometimes we feel little ashamed also that we are not doing as well <laughs> but it's like a wake up call do something better huh. try some better storytelling anedi అయితే మీరు చెప్పారు కదా ఇలా ఈ సినిమా మేము ఎక్కువ పబ్లిసిటీ చేయలేదు ఈ సినిమా కావాలనే అలా ఒక కంటైన్డ్గా రిలీజ్ చేద్దామని ఆఫ్టర్ డెలివరింగ్ అ హండ్రెడ్ క్రోర్ హిట్ ఐ మీన్ చార్ లీడెడ్ హండ్రెడ్ క్రోర్స్ వరల్డ్ వైడ్ ఇస్ వాట్ ఐ హర్డ్ 
there must have been a massive temptation to sort of our market ni consolidate cheyadam mal next cinema kuda vanda ga adu inko 150 cheyali ilan temptations undu untai kada how are you so uncorrupted i mean first of all for you to pick this film after 100 crore hit to pick to play this character after 100 crore hit must any hesitation nothing at all no i i don't see a cinema or life as in in that uh, perspective mm-hmm. i don't i want to i want to be i, I want to do good films right and uh, i know when i you know uh, if it is about mass commercial and you know about uh, making money making big pro- uh, project i'm going to do that correct uh, next correct. so irrespective of how much this film has uh, done or my previous film has uh, done i'm going to get there again correct uh, and once i get there i'll get to make many more uh, these kind of uh, films which uh, probably people not everybody is ready for it uh, but you know you have to only when you make these films people can get used to it right like you know if you don't if people don't get used to it then how can you have a, you can only just you know keep dreaming that you know i'll make this uh, film someday right. and another thing is a filmmaker like hemant rao who is so dedicated to cinema right uh, when you know when you know that so- someone who is so true to cinema mm. you know it, you can't go wrong uh, as a good you know he'll make a good film for sure correct now wh- wh- whether it will work in the market or not let's see that that is something we have to let's explore correct uh, but there is there has to be an attempt correct 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 actually many stars i'm sure will be like oh i've delivered a 100 crore film i have to make sure we consolidate them and it's, it's i completely understand the thinking it's correct thinking right. but actually if you look at it if you do want to experiment manchi cinema teeddam aa okka type cinema ne kaakunda vere type cinema cheyadam an anukunte maatram oka 100 crore lo hit ichin tarvata cheyadam best timing actually yeah, yeah, yeah. because like exactly, you said that, exactly. that that respect is going to stay intact and then you can always go do another commercial film again so exactly right right that's amazing so you you meeru cheppindi chuste you know hemant very well for a long time now uh, his first film was also with me Uh, oh. it's called uh, godi banna sadarana mai gattu right ah uh, okay ah uh, okay oh so so there's already a working chemistry there yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> ah okay and you were working with both of them for the first time yes ah okay yeah, so okay. i was a new entrant into this chemistry the club okay yeah this world totally yeah hemant manam maatladina pudu i called you after Correct. the movie uh, actually i want to tell you what i told them hmm. i i said the same thing to all three of them nen actually ga cinema chusi bayitku vachanu and then i kept calling divya i said i need to speak to them mm. so she said yeah yeah no rakshit is promoting the movie i don't know if i can connect right now i said you try i am on the phone yeah. i said you try now no ante kadandi she 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 didn't know how to respond i said you try now if he doesn't pick up he'll call back mm. so i think in 15 minutes or something yeah, yeah, yeah. i spoke to him and i was feeling very emotional I di- and i said i don't know how to describe the feeling except that i stood by the edge of the sea and this oka oka wave laga oka ochi mottam tadisesin tadipesindi nannu and mottam tadisipoyanu nenu inka aa ala tadipesina feeling nenu inkokadiki ela explain cheyali is what i was saying i don't know how to explain what i'm feeling right. to somebody else right. so hey man nenu chusina yeah, yeah. so hey man how do you write something like this <laughs> how ante 11 years nunchi ee kadha mi daggara undu annaru how do you write something that does that to you i i think i don't think about it from outside of the film when i'm writing it me the so love story ah me the arranged marriage no, or love marriage sorry love marriage, love marriage. <laughs> <laughs> no but the, that see the way i uh, look at films is very similar to how rakshit looks at films in the sense that is what i think is the note that connects us so deeply is our common love and passion towards films and i have grown up watching you know i've been that person in the theater that i've been that kid in cinema paradise where you know cinema is how it sh- how it shapes you as a human being right. so for me it is uh, you know i've always wanted and aspired to create that experience for somebody else right. because that is how beautiful the medium is and uh, the, the powerful element of storytelling so i don't think I'm, i'm i don't start off thinking i'm going to write a very powerful you know scene or i'm going to write a very moving scene i try and be as you know vulnerable with the characters that i have created and it just you know the, i have co-written the film with kundu shetty uh, my uh, long term uh, he was my assistant in godivanna then worked with me on kavludari oh, now he is writing we wrote it together so we constantly keep trying to see how we can stay true to the world how true 
we can stay to the you know to the characters and uh, we presented it yeah, because to him kada kuda okka moment kuda i didn't feel i'm watching a film i felt i mean uh, you know manu and priya's world i mm. just felt like a fly on the wall and i was just watching them and <coughs> nothing pulled me out of the film at and that is some like stupendous achievement in terms of writing and craft and and making i i have yeah, more to I mean, ask you correct, on that uh, but uh, on that note we'll get into the detail part yes, inside the, yeah, yeah, yeah. the spoiler we, we, we <laughs> have stuff to ask you there yeah, very specific uh, things that i wanted to ask him about writing but yes the young lady who stumbled into this world <laughs> now how and from where and what how did you land up here I, who uh, are you what are you because <laughs> this was something <laughs> crazy so where did you come from who i am even i don't have answers for so <laughs> <laughs> that's work in progress ask me in 70 years <laughs> um i i showed up in the middle of these two out of sheer determination and uh irritated pigheadedness i think oh, okay. uh, i i found out i mean i've been interested in this project ever since they released their first poster which okay. was a shot of the sea right i have a i have a personal affinity for the sea so and wow. the idea Same that <laughs> this team is making a love story which i um love both as an audience member but also as an actress right. i believe that love stories are one arena where women get a lot more space right. to explore yeah. so the idea that this team is coming together for a love story was uh, incredible and then i saw an article saying that they were looking for a female lead oh so this was fate right. so i i <laughs> so tried I about three different avenues to get in touch with them i tried oh. through a, through through friends who were working in you know in the industry i was like can you just get my my profile in there somehow it doesn't matter and uh, finally flying in the face of all my drama school training of not contacting directors personally i dm'd himant <laughs> and i sent him my entire resume my training i said i love to be able to audition for your project right. uh if at all that's possible you so sk- you've trained in theater right in london yeah i i trained at the royal academy of dramatic arts yeah. and uh, then when i came back i decided that i wanted to try film because theater was very satisfying for me and i wanted to see whether i could be as effective in a medium like film so you've done theater here or back uh, in the uk i did both in the uk and uh, in bangalore bombay delhi i did a musical and stuff oh, like lovely. that Which yeah one? aladdin Oh lovely. Yeah. So, so you were Jasmine or I was understudy Jasmine yeah. Ah, so okay. I did a couple of shows as Jasmine. Okay. And uh, yeah and and then I reached out to Hemant and he uh, ghosted me for 10 days. <laughs> <laughs> no I I am actually not very active on any social media. Okay. I I am active in the sense that I check once in a while. Uh especially Insta. I am not very active. So it so happened that you know on that day I was uh, was like we were looking for heroines and right. the you know the most popular way to look for heroine profiles is to see instagram Insta, correct so i was sitting correct. with my direction team and we were like okay who is this who is that and i got a message the moment she sent it otherwise i don't check <laughs> dms oh uh, it's very rare right so i just happened to see it and i scrolled through her profile and there was one photo which i saw and i was like okay this is priya this priya, looks right. like priya right. something it just felt from inside that this is priya mm. and it it had that that photo had the very revathi vibes okay oh. and i think that is yes. what i was looking for right. uh, subconsciously i didn't know until somebody pointed out today mm. uh, <laughs> today uh, one of the journalists here is like uh, uh, your performance was so beautiful it reminded me of revathi i was like correct that is what i was looking for <laughs> i didn't realize it right. so that's how no, it no, happened no, yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that's that's this like she was she is by revathi that way <laughs> Oh so, I mean I think that's the one positive change I mean there used to be a time when especially if a girl would seek people out and say hey I'm interested in working with you I like your work and I think it'd be a good fit there used to be a time when women themselves used to feel scared doing it because you'd get perceived differently and today I think it's a lot more professional yeah. and we're all in it uh, yeah. అంటే ఇవాళ ఇప్పుడున్న అట్మాస్ఫియర్ లో చాలా మంది ఇప్పుడు సినిమా కోసం సినిమా చేస్తున్నాం అండ్ వీర్ ఆల్ వెరీ ప్రొఫెషనల్ ఇట్స్ నైస్ దట్ సమ్ ఆఫ్ దీస్ గర్ల్స్ కెన్ గెట్ 
లేకపోతే మీకు మీ ప్రియా దొరికేది కాదు బట్ యా సో ట్రూ అబౌట్ ఇన్స్టా నో సో బీట్ మెన్ ఆర్ విమెన్ కాస్టింగ్ చేయాలంటే మాత్రం యూజువలీ అసిస్టెంట్ డైరెక్టర్స్ అబ్బాయిలు అందరూ ఇన్స్టాలోనే ప్రొఫైల్స్ వెతుకుతారు ప్రిఫర్ దట్ నాట్ టు బి ద కేస్ బికాస్ ఇట్స్ వెరీ లైక్ ఈవెన్ సంబడి సెన్స్ బంచ్ ఆఫ్ ఫొటోస్ ఇట్ దస్ నో కాంటాక్ట్ టు ఇట్ కరెక్ట్ కరెక్ట్ రైట్ ఐ ఐ యూజువలీ లైక్ సో ఎవ్రీ టైం ఐ సే దిస్ స్టోరీ ఐ హావ్ లైక్ ప్లీజ్ డోంట్ సెట్ బి ఎనీ డిఎఫ్ సెట్ ఫొటోస్ దట్ ఇస్ నాట్ ద రైట్ వే టు డు ఇట్ రైట్ 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 ఇది ఇది డెస్టినీ అంతే ఇది దిస్ నో ఇట్ ఇస్ ఇట్ ఇస్ డెస్టిన్ బికాస్ ఐ రోడ్ దిస్ ఫిల్మ్ ఇన్ 2006 అండ్ ఫర్ మీ Rakshit, I didn't even met Rakshit then. I didn't, we didn't even made the first film together. Okay. Yeah. But somehow, I have had to wait all these years to make this film because I needed to find the right producer, mm. the right kind of film mad person that he is mm. and the, the, the amazing actor that he is and to find Rukmini and to find Rakshit, you know, Advait and Charan and a bunch of people so it's like it's it's like this has been waiting you know so right. you can i i nen ipudu baita kalisina pudu rakshit garki adhe cheppanu i said uh, he is doing to kannada cinema what amir khan did to hindi cinema in the 2000s i mean he is kannada cinema industry ne empower chestunnaru enable chestunnaru inni rakala kathalu cheppochu anedi inlanti stars ee kathalni pick cheyadam valla jarugutundi so i think it's, it's it's amazing it's very healthy and now there are two more shettis who are rocking it and it's amazing i mean more power to you guys rakshit so meer uh, manu character portray chestunnapudu i think it's probably your most vulnerable character yeah. to date i mean uh, the way you look at priya each time ante it does something every time you are looking i could see that pain and that 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 love just reaching out every time in the eyes ఏదైనా ప్రాసెస్ ఏమైనా ఉండిందా యాజ్ అన్ యాక్టర్ టు గో త్రూ టు లెట్ గో ఆఫ్ ఎవ్రీథింగ్ యూ అంటే యూ ఫర్ నాట్ ఈవెన్ అ సెకండ్ యూ కెన్ బి యాక్టింగ్ దేర్ యూ కాంట్ హ్యావ్ ఎనీ ఆఫ్ దోస్ థింగ్స్ అండ్ యూ బిన్ అ హీరో ఫర్ సో లాంగ్ యూ డన్ సో మెనీ థింగ్స్ సో యూ హ్యావ్ టు లిటరలీ డీకన్స్ట్రక్ట్ యువర్ సెల్ఫ్ అండ్ మేక్ యువర్ సెల్ఫ్ సో వల్నరబుల్ టు ప్లే దిస్ గాయ్ అండ్ బి ఓకే విత్ ఇట్ ట్రస్టింగ్ ఏ మంత్ so what was your process did you make even a specific process und in that how did you prepare to be manu so uh, one thing is as we said you know 100% trust on the yeah. uh, on, on hemant yeah. uh, because i know he is going to go, do something i just need to do my job that's all right. so and when he told me the uh, script the first thing i re- realized is he's he's a innocent chap who yeah. who trust everyone yeah, yeah. Uh, you know he he doesn't judge uh, right. uh, people and so basically there are there are few qualities which i had to find in in me which relate which i where i ca- can relate to uh, manu easily yeah. and uh, which ones i'm just curious <laughs> <laughs> like trusting people <laughs> people <laughs> without judging <laughs> things like that yeah. uh, and hemant is also someone who actually you know uh, probably he he observes people and uh, this guy if he plays this character it will be nice <laughs> right right right, right. <laughs> so he, he he's very observant uh, that way yeah. and after that probably it is a journey which he took us into because when when i started the film it was just that you know i need to be in love with uh, priya so for that we had a uh, workshop right and later as i go to the jail you know uh, that whole environment was new to me yeah. he had gone there he had done his research work and he had given me like small small uh, details but i had never seen it so yeah. for me it was very new what the way he was arranging things and they way the, the whole background uh, setting is since it is new to me i just have that, to project yeah, that, that uh, as as a character that works for the character also as a char- uh, character and manu is someone who has seen people outside uh, and he has trusted everyone there also but the jail is even a even a worse uh, you know place for that character to be in correct, correct. and uh, where there also he he trust uh, start trusting people uh, so i just went along with the, the journey he was taking us he, he normally uh, shoots in in sequence so in in sequence in a sense like for example first 15 20 minutes he'll make a bunch mm. uh, finish it in 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 the first 10 uh, uh, days right. next 15 20 minutes he'll take a bunch and there he go out you know non linear but uh, but but you know for me or our arc lo travel chestunnaru exactly for right. a character to build in and the journey he is going through as yeah, uh, especially Manu. for this film i mean if they had Correct. to jump it yeah, would have custom. been crazy no it's it's, it's it, it, i think uh, scheduling makes a very big yes. difference yes. that way and uh, sometimes i can't give that you know kind of uh, you know clarity for right. the actors right. like right. initially right. i remember for rukmini 
the first five days that we shot, we shot that scene with the mother in the very first schedule. Uh, what were their first scenes? I'm curious. Which, one, which ones did they? Which shoot? one with the mother? We, the, we started off. I always schedule it in such a way that their their chemistry is what we start off with. I also like to, uh, you know, it's, it's explore, explore right. and also start off slowly, correct, not correct. take on something which is a very important okay. scene. Correct. So I shot a lot of montages, house hunting, and mm. which requires them to be in that space, the right. light space. Doesn't require too much of a commitment in terms what of. What was the, the scene in which you felt you found uh, Manu and Priya when you said ah? That's Priya, or, or she got it. Like I think know? I started seeing that when we started doing the workshop only. Ah. Like oh, I can when when I started seeing how they are with each other, we made them do a lot of trust workshop in the sense we never discussed the scenes, mm. never rehearsed the scenes. Uh, we just did one script reading mm. in in my office. Uh, outside of that, I, we did a lot of fun stuff. We made them cook together. They mm. had to make a meal. Nice. Uh, <laughs> then we. I like writing a lot of backstory right. about the character in terms of what was Priya's childhood like and you know where does she come from, who is she, what is she scared of. Like I have a questionnaire in terms of you know uh, uh, for each character that is important in the film even right. if it is a small character. So I sort of made them go through their uh, you know sort of shared memory of who these people are. Like how did they fall in love, things like if we would love to see that. You should make like a side A minus a prequel and show us how they fell in love. I mean, well, how they met for the first the, time. So when I decided to make the film into two parts, I actually wrote the sequence of them falling in love. Huh. It that that story exists. The scenes huh. exist. It's huh. just that I chose not to do it because I felt the fact that the story is starting midway. Can we request right. you to blog this after the, all your releases are done? Side yeah, yeah, A, yeah, side for B. Sure. We would love to know this journey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Side A minus Kawali. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably then it will be even more difficult for you to watch the climax. Yeah. Oh yeah, I can imagine. Yeah. But uh, it's so uh, things like you know if there was a fight between Manu and Priya, who would who would you know. Say raise the white first, flag, right white flag right. first. That is, these are all things that are very incidental to every relationship Correct. between every uh, between two people, any kind of relationship. There are certain things that are defining that relationship in terms of how power is shared, in terms of how the love is shared. What is the love language between them? So that we sort of discussed a lot, and with them we sort of found it, and. A lot of things I wanted them to figure out, like the sign that you see in the film that I didn't tell them that do this sign. Yeah. Oh, it's oh. like you guys figure it out because you're signaling to each other. You Lovely. need to figure yeah. out. So okay. they, as in, it's not a very complicated complicated thing. It came out simply. I just right. got goosebumps every time. They were <laughs> yeah. So, but it was something that I feel that every couple has their own secrets, yeah. Yeah. has their own thing. You know, where in a party when they look at each other, yeah. or in a you know. Well, there is a way they communicate right. Correct. and I wanted to find that. Mm -hmm. So that I found in the workshop right. and then you know shooting then became easy, easy because I was sh shooting like small bits. Mm -hmm. But with Rukmini's thing like I was saying the first five days I shot something towards the climax. Mm -hmm. So oh. sometimes I am not the able to… The scene with the mother… Yeah, yeah, the yeah like where they talk about the grief. Oh. It was shot after the first… We were just discussing that scene yeah, 15 minutes before. Five, five day, fifth day or sixth day we shot it. Uh, it must have been so challenging. Ante um, uh, cinema lo apurda ka jarigin nanta shoot che kunda director ka scene shoot che. Yeah, no, I'm yeah. sure it was. It was. Did you go back and reshoot? No, no. Uh, <laughs> she nailed it first time. We got it. We got it right. But yeah. uh, there are scenes like that where with Rakshit also we we shot something which uh, the jail ka portion. Mm. Uh, we shot the climax fight first. Oh. Uh, and then did the jail portion. Okay. Uh, so, it's in some places I'm not to able to give that correct. to the actors. So many places where Rahul's going, oh, <laughs> you'll watch the movie and then come back and watch this. Apne <laughs> 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 it will be this cinema side A is released on September 22nd. Yes. But in October, there is a gap in October. The side B is released on the sequel. And uh, if you want to talk about that, there is a question first. And then we will go to the question I actually want to ask. If you want to talk about the story, then you want to talk about the story. If you want to talk about the story, then you want to talk about the story. Then you want to talk about the story. Then you want to talk about the story. Do you think you have finished the story after the film? No, no. No, actually, like I said it before also, I, I, it's for me, when I'm writing, it's like, you're, it's like, you know, working with clay. 
uh, I, I, like I would compare it to pottery, right. the clay is constantly communicating back with you. Correct. It is trying to tell you something and how you feel it sort of, you know, gives you a sense of how much pressure you need to apply where. So, constantly the story kept, you know, it's kept throwing ideas to me which yeah was like, okay, what about this? What about that? What about this? It, it feels like an organic story. Yeah, it and doesn't I just, feel like a very structured... Uh, yeah, I just I went with it. Yeah. I didn't think... I wrote... I'm a very instinctive writer. Yes. I'm a very instinctive filmmaker. So, I went with my instinct and just wrote. And while shooting the film, I'm also a very I, very responsible filmmaker in the sense that I'm, I know cinema can exist only if the producer makes money. Correct. Yeah. correct yeah. So, I went to him and I uh, told him that, you know, we are, we are about to do a very expensive schedule. There will be some excess, you know, that we will be shooting. I am feeling like this can be two, like two parts. But story is ready. Part two, Kalpi. No, I had not even written part two. Oh. I had not. Uh, so, the, always the, the idea was. The story was written. Huh, story the was there. Not written. Ah, As okay. in the screenplay, screenplay was wasn't written. Yeah, okay. The story was written. So, you were both, all of you were clear that you were making this entire story. Yeah, not yeah, just yeah. stopping it. This no, 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 no. Okay. No. okay. So, we were, so, for me, the idea was because he had to put on weight and go through a body transformation. My idea was in that time. I will write sc the screenplay for side B. Perfect. Because right. I need only 20 days to write the screenplay because everything is there in my head. Right. So, I was like, I'll write it later. Mm. And I just started making side A. Mm. So, while I was making side A, it just, you know, I started realizing that there's a film here. There's right. a whole film here. And when I communicated that to him, he was like, he is uh, <laughs> like, you know, you shoot, Bacha, you shoot how you want. <laughs> you make the film you want. <laughs> we'll decide later. It's so amazing. It's and uh, it's amazing to have a producer like that. Nice. And, and a star like that. Yeah, right? yeah. So, amazing. he he was like, you make the film that you want. And the maths in terms of the economics of it is something that we are very conscious of. You should be, correct. correct. To make a film like this and to make money is very important. Correct. Uh, correct. Because that sort of, you know... You don't need to make 150, but at least... Yeah. Once you profit travel return and exactly. it's bound. Sure. Right. Yeah. It, it, for me, that is very important. Correct. So, Correct. Uh, when we looked at it, it made sense. Correct. So, he was like, we'll announce and all later. Mm. You shoot the film, you edit it and we see it. If you if it still works, then we'll take a call and make it as two parts. So, right. that's how it happened. I don't think I know another star producer who is like this. <laughs> you know, he's amazing. He's what amazing. are you eating and drinking? <laughs> <laughs> no, there are times where I have to be, uh, I have to think like a producer for him. Like, you know, like, you know, that will this, you know, we have to you know, do you're this. You're putting money into this, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, you know, you, you, you do, you do, you know, he's like that. Amazing, amazing. So, uh, the, the, Second part of that question, and Mimman Nadagal and Kunadi. So, Motham story ready, Ayaka Miroke Jepera, like what the part one ending Daka Vini Miroke Jepesarani. No, I, I like the idea of playing two different shades in one film. Exactly. <laughs> oh, so you so, heard the whole story before yeah, you yeah, say yeah, yes. Yeah, ah. yeah. I mean, uh, not in, in terms of narration, uh, like. Like the way he gave the first half narration, right. uh, not that way, but the whole story in terms of plot points, all that he had already uh, told me. Okay, okay. Yeah. I Sapta Sagar Dachi and Abotana Sapta Sagar Al Dati side B, I think, will be a very, very unique sequel in the world of cinema. Naku, we were sitting and discussing Chala Alo I can't think of another two part series, a film series where. The sequel is a completely different genre. And a part, side A, okay, genre, and a side A, okay, love story, and a side B, literally, it's like a high voltage, explosive revenge drama. I, I, at least I get that feeling. I have a preview. So. I was asking Rukmani, what happens in side B? I said, no, no, wait, no. Yeah, yeah. I was so restless to know what is going to correct. happen. I said, what, do the, what happens when they meet for the first time? Correct, correct. <laughs> So, <laughs> I, in that sense, I think it's going to be unique. I don't think it's going to be unique. First cinema, sequel, ki asalu flavor, paranga, grammar, paranga, overall tonality, it's going to be a good thing. It's going to be a good thing. See, there is a certain shift in the way we have shot also. Like I, can, the, I could see lens, that in the preview. Yeah. Uh, the lens that we have used, we have used slightly more vintage lens, we wanted the very, you know, chromatic aberrations, we wanted a little dirt, you right. know, little, to reflect the mind space of Manu. Right. So, Side B is a, is a different film, right. you know, so, which... Very which, pure and very... Ha, but 
uh, it has its own organ kind of a, no uh, side a is like that yeah, side b side, <coughs> side a is is, yeah. is has a certain treatment right. side b is a slightly different treatment uh, not slightly it's quite a different treatment but, but correct both but, are poetic but both, both are made that, with yeah, that poetic that, that pain that that pain and that reality i think is the common factor but yeah ante ipudu shankar dada mbs ki sequel ram gopal varma gar teesthe etlo untadi range suddenly it's like a dark sense it is followed manu's personality yeah yeah the yeah, yeah, right. narrative yeah, has yeah, followed yeah, his yeah. personality and it's a uh, the reason also for for it to be two films is because i wanted to you know it, it doesn't make sense to make that as one viewing experience I like it would really agree with you it would actually be very discordant if you saw it as one film because it'd be like hey this film is something else this film is something else <laughs> correct correct so it, it's like a, it's like happened organically mm. but like <laughs> జనాలు ఖచ్చితంగా ఈ సినిమా ఎందుకు వెళ్ళి చూడాలనేది చెప్పేస్తే మనం సైడ్ బికి వెళ్ళిపోదా నేను వెయిటింగ్ స్టార్ట్ అయినప్పటి దూకేస్తాను మీరు అంటే నేను గ్యారంటీ చెప్తున్నానండి మీరు ప్రేమలో ఉన్న ఆర్ ఇఫ్ యూ వర్ ఇన్ లవ్ లేదంటే అలా లవ్ స్టోరీ జరగకపోయినా కూడా మీరు విపరీతంగా కరెక్ట్ అయిపోతారు ఈ సినిమాకి ఎందుకంటే ఒక మనిషి అనే అనేవాడు బ్రతికిన తర్వాత ఇలాంటి ఒక ప్రేమ ఉంటే ఎలా ఉంటుంది లైఫ్ అనేది డెఫినెట్గా మీకు ఒక చాలా కదిలింపజేస్తుంది మిమ్మల్ని అండ్ మై ప్రామిస్ టు యూ ఇస్ మీరు వచ్చిన తర్వాత చాలా సఫర్ అవుతారు థియేటర్ నుంచి మూడు రోజుల వరకు కంటిన్యూస్గా ఇదే సినిమా తిరుగుతూ ఉంటుంది మీ మైండ్లో చెప్తున్నాను మీకు ఈ సెవెన్ జి బృందావన్ కాలనీ ఫ్యాన్స్ అందరు ఉన్నారు కదా బాబు అర్జెంటుగా ఈ టికెట్ కొనేసి వెళ్ళిపోండి మీరు ఎందుకంటే ఆ తర్వాత మళ్ళీ అంత షేక్ చేసింది ఈ సినిమానే అండ్ అబ్బాయిలు అందరూ మీకు ప్రేమించుకోవడానికి ఒక కొత్త హీరోయిన్ దొరుకుతుంది ఇందులో రుక్మిణి ఎలియాస్ ప్రియాని మీరు అందరూ ప్రేమిస్తారు అండ్ రక్షిత్ శెట్టి ఫ్యాన్స్ అయితే ఉన్నారు వెళ్ళండి అండ్ ఆల్ సినీ ఫైల్స్ from now on you're going to be hemanth rao fans if you're not already <laughs> so definitely go and watch it i think a lot of telugu people have yeah. watched your previous film yeah, kavalu gari yeah. so yeah. Yeah, i think there is a lot of respect for hemanth anyway here. yes definitely so side b gel podama waiting vachina appudu nunchi dani kosam waiting so side a interview ayipoyindi meeru tickets book chese theater ki elpondi side b matram appude chudandi kakkurthi pettesi ippudu pedthe spoiler ayipothundi meeku and side b elago koncham technical ga bahusa koncham boring ga kuda undochu but boring ga undadu asalu na kavalsina content idi enduku boring ga untundi సినిమా చూడకుండా సైడ్ బి చూస్తే మాత్రం ఎంత ఎంజాయ్ చేస్తారో నాకు తెలియదు కానీ సినిమా చూసాక ఖచ్చితంగా ఎంజాయ్ చేస్తారు బికాస్ ఐ వాంట్ హియర్